Kansas City is back in the spotlight with season four of Queer Eye, which was released early this morning on Netflix. Seven of the eight episodes, like last season, feature a hero from the Kansas City area. And our Leslie Aguilar caught up with one of them. Wesley Hamilton's okay, story yeah, is one of that. turning pain into purpose. I truly believe that my episode is going to inspire the world. Hamilton is in a wheelchair, paralyzed from the waist down. But that's not what defines him. He's the hero of the second episode of Queer Eyes Season 4. In it, you'll see what drives him. The power of forgiveness, the power of resilience, you know, the power of acceptance, um, and a power of accountability. Hamilton grew up in East Kansas City, idolizing the wrong kind of men. He was shot when he was 24 and ended up paralyzed. But he took his second chance at life and made the most of it for his daughter and himself. I work to get to where I am today, and that's all it takes. It takes a little bit of self-care, self-love, and you can get there. He so says the, the Fab game. Five gave so him confidence in areas of his life he didn't realize he needed. They made his appearance match how he feels inside, then. cutting his hair for the first time since he was shot. They even completely remodeled his home to make it 100% wheelchair accessible. That has gave me so much independence. He hopes the platform Queer Eye is giving him will help him help others. His nonprofit organization, Disabled But Not Really, is already changing lives in Kansas City. So it doesn't matter if you come through the door with a physical, mental, or emotional disability. If it's limiting you from being the best version of yourself, we can help you. Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.